Oh, hello. This is David with Mudslinger Pottery, and I am out in the studio today here in Charlotte, North Carolina on a beautiful uh, Tuesday afternoon. I think it's about 85 degrees out, and the sun is shining, and the sky is pretty blue. And I am uh, showing off my birdhouses, bird feeders. I threw these yesterday, and today I am finishing them out with adding the holes, adding a uh, little perch for them to land on, and just uh, the little tips and tricks uh, of how I get it to be completed. So I've got to, uh, I've got to finish my bottom and clean it up a little bit. So I'm taking a red Mudworks clay tool, just a flexible rib, and I can clean up that bottom where I cut it off with the wire tool. Take a sponge and just round off my foot. I want to push in any of the, the grog or sand that might scratch up someone's table if they should happen to put this down on it. So, get it ready for my my stamp. Most important part of the pot, right there. So I also, uh, in the bottom of these, even though it's going to be a feeder, I do like to add a few holes, just in case rain gets in there and maybe it'll uh, it'll run out a little bit. So I'm just adding just five small holes just away for the the water to drain if it should get in there. And they're not really that big, so it's not like the the bird feed is gonna be draining out of these holes. So there we go, I got the bottom done. Clean up a little issue right here. And I'm gonna put it on my banding wheel. So if you did not see my YouTube video from yesterday, I threw these pots and they are one piece pots. So this is all one piece of clay. It was about three pounds of clay. So it was a closed in form. And I like how that is because then I don't have to make two pieces to put together. It's all, it's already there. So on the top of this, I am going to add a wire. And what I use is a fishing, fishing leader wire. So it's a 90 pound test and it's gonna hold this thing for a long time. So it's a stainless steel uh, leader. That's what I use. Instead of a, a piece of string or something that might rot and fall, I don't, I don't want it falling because of something I've done. So right up at the top, I am just going to uh, take a needle tool and slide it through the top here. right down the middle. And that kind of gives me a guide for the uh, the drill bit that I use. I just take a small drill bit and I'll run that through there to create a hole that I will run the the wire through. So when I'm glazing this, I have to be careful. I don't want to uh, glaze over this, this hole. If I do that, I don't have anything to hang it with. So when, I, when I'm going to glaze it, I'll take a, a real small paintbrush, dip it in a little wax, and dip it on in there so that it keeps the uh, the glaze from getting in there and covering up the hole, not being able to use it. Okay, so the other little trick I've got is I have a banding wheel and I'm going to put four holes. This is a completed one. So I've got to put four holes in the side of the feeder and add 
couple perches. So I'm going to line this up, center it up a little bit, get it as close as I can. And I've just taken a marker and I have spots for uh, four spots. So that'll line up my, uh, my holes. And I have a, I think this is a biscuit maker um, to make the holes in. So I'm gonna line it up on the first hole. And all I'm doing with this is creating where that hole is. I'm gonna have to cut it out with a uh, X-Acto knife. But I'm creating that, that image of where that hole is. So lined up there, line the second one up. Let me make sure I'm going right here. Okay. And just creating that circle. And you can use whatever you whatever you got's handy to just make a circle, make a template. But it's kind of fun to when you find a tool that that will work. So one, two, three, and four. Okay. So I've got my four locations of the holes. And now I just take a uh, X-Acto knife and I slip it in that that line that I created with my little biscuit maker and follow that around as close as I can. These are great little pots. They, they take a little bit Take a little bit of time to, to make, but I love how they come out, and they look really good hanging in the backyard, too. So one, clean it off a little bit. I'm trying to keep this X-Acto knife at a 90 degree angle to the pot. all the way around so that hole comes out the same for each one that one's not going to be as friendly I'm going to have to pull it out the hole down here Okay, I got two. So I've just gotten started with my YouTube channel and I'm having a lot of fun with it. I had uh, someone ask me, well, why did you start a YouTube channel? And my first response was of course, oh, I wanna, I wanna sell ads and in my retirement, just watch the YouTube uh, checks roll in while I sit around and do nothing. But then I really got to thinking about it, and that's that's maybe just a small part of it, and probably never going to happen anyways. But I also really want to share some of the 20 plus years of experience that I've got in making pots maybe let someone else learn and challenge them into trying something a little different or just giving some tips and some tricks that might help make uh, better pots I mean let's face it if we all make better pots we'll probably all sell more pots okay so I have four holes, as you can see. And they're not perfect, of course. 
I've got to clean them up a little bit. So I just take a damp sponge, not too wet. And I clean that up. That must have been an Etsy sale right there. <laughs> Maybe someone buying one of my birdhouses. So I clean it up and I can go in here both sides, inside and out, and just kind of rub my fingers around in there and just kind of clean that edge up. Try to make it look a little round as best I can. And the, the little bit of dampness on the sponge really kind of helps to just clean that out. Go one, two, three, and four. Yeah, I'm making these as bird feeders, but I'm sure you could use it as a birdhouse too. You just don't put feed in there. There'd probably be a bird that would wouldn't mind that as a nice little house. So next, I need to. Uh, add my little perches. So what I've got over here is a coil that I'm working on. And I found sometimes if you uh, dampen the board just a little bit, it adds a little bit of moisture to the, to the clay and makes it easier for this to, to kind of roll. So I'm trying my best to keep this as even as I can and I just need two small pieces. I don't need a whole lot. So we'll cut one and two. And these will probably be too long, but better too long than too short, right? So I like to have a little design on my handles. So what I do is I take a, a wooden rib if you can see it, it's got a serrated edge to it. I love what this does to it. I used to just add these little handles as round handles and just thought, oh, look how wonderful these are. But it's amazing when you add a little something else to your pieces, what it does. And you can see how it's got that texture in there now. So when I glaze that, that glaze will pull up in those spots and create a little different color and just kind of make these little handles pop. So much more so than one that is just a little round handle. Or in this case, a perch. So I'm gonna get these out of the way get this back over here. Okay, so I'm just gonna put two on. I don't want four on. It's starting to get a little heavy. So I'm just kind of picking sides where I want them. And now that's, that's a little long, so I don't need it that long. I'll cut a little bit of this off. Okay, so I've got this and it's gonna go on right like this. So I'm just gonna squeeze the ends make a little pad, which will make it easier for me to attach to the side of this bird feeder. And what I do is I, I slip and score it. So basic, basically when I score, I add a little bit of water and that water creates a little bit of a slip. So then I just add it to the side here without putting a lot of pressure, lining it up, and because I've scored the little perch, it gives me a spot where I know that this, 
this piece of clay is going to go. And then I only score where I need to. So put that on there and press it in. And then what I'll do is smooth this out so it looks like it's just coming right off the pot. Just a little bit of water on your finger will help smooth it in there. The other thing I'll do is I'm going to put a little indent right here, another one right here, and I'll show you why in just a second. So I've got one, mix it up a little bit. I've got my second one. This one's going to be a little too long too. Yeah, I can take a little bit off this one too. And I'm cutting it off the ends so I keep my pattern. And once again, I'm just squeezing the ends to create a little wider spot for it to uh, attach to the side of this bird feeder. Okay, make sure I'm on the right side, okay, here. And this one goes here. Put it in there and mark it. Pop it off. And just, I just touch it on there so that I get that spot where this this piece is going to be attached to and then I just have to score that spot okay clean it up a little bit sometimes a little bit of water helps Once again, I'm going to put a little little divot on both sides here. One, two. Okay, and the reason for that is I like to make uh, little beads. I, I was kind of when I first did this, kind of thinking like a, a like a rivet, something that just holds that that handle that piece on there. I like what it does to the pod. I like just that little bit of extra design element in there. Try to get these as even as I can. That one needs a little clay. That one needs a little bit of clay. So now I've got four little balls. And I can take these and just score them. One, two, and four and then I will score the spots I've got here and attach one of the little beads to all four spots yep. let me score this a little bit And there we go. I've got another birdhouse. Or bird feeder. So now what I'll do is cover this up just to allow the, uh, the moisture level to kind of even out because these are probably a little bit wetter than the body of the, the pot and that helps it to, uh, to avoid cracking or breaking off if I give it to maybe a day or two of just wrapped up in a nice piece of plastic. So there it is. So if you enjoyed this video, maybe if you learned something, throw a comment out there, give me a question. I'd love to uh, answer whatever questions you might have. Uh, like and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Hope you all have a wonderful day.